Hello everyone, my name is Armada and today I'm going to show you how to create this cool text effect that I just showed you and it's pretty cool, it take, doesn't take long to create and and yeah, so let's begin. First thing you want to do is go to red, render settings and select global illumination and ambient occlusion and don't change any of these settings on ambient occlusion but on gl global illumination you're going to want to go to irradiance cache and change this to to low and yeah so now we're ready to add the text so first add a floor without any materials and then go to mo graph mo text and select the nice font of your choice it doesn't really matter and type in whatever you want align middle and on depth I don't I'm just gonna go ahead and take like 90 and yeah so now you're gonna wanna go to this thing right here so that you can select all the different views and select the front view and then you wanna add a bezier, spline bezier, I don't really know how to pronounce it but it doesn't matter and just select the spline and draw like around the letter and I'm, just, I'm not gonna like do spend a lot of time on this because it's a tutorial and I don't want to waste so much time so yeah I'm just gonna do this quick but if you have like more time uh, you can focus more so it looks better and now when we're here gonna wanna check off close spline so now we have our spline now you're gonna go to this menu and add a circle with a radius of about seven seven or eight no I'm uh, sorry let's just take one that looks best I forgot what I chose before so yeah select the one centimeters on radius and then add a sweep nerves and add a circle and the spline to the sweep nerves and make sure the circle is above the spline because if it's not then it's gonna just look like this and that doesn't look good so yeah so now we have this spline around the text looks pretty cool and now we're gonna add the material on it so double click here for a new material <coughs> excuse me and then select white as color and go to luminance brightness 200% and select like a really clear color if you know what I mean like not just gray or dark blue but like this type of green or blue or it doesn't matter I'm just gonna take green and apply it to the sweep nerves so this is what we got right now when we render and it looks pretty cool so now we're gonna animate this so we're gonna go to sweep nerves and I'm just gonna make this 200 frames and then go to go to the first frame and select end growth you can see what it does and then take it on zero percent then while holding command or control I don't know if you're a Mac user or a PC user but command on Mac users click this circle right here and then move forward to about 140 or something doesn't really matter and take this at 100% and this will turn yellow to show that we've made a change and it's ready to keyframe it so hold command and click this so as we can see it animates the spline so now we're basically done but if you want to make it look better you can copy this command C command V and move it back like that so now we have 
the animation on both of both of the sides. So yeah, that's basically it. You can always always make it like look more advanced and yeah, change the colors and all that stuff. It does look a little boring without camera animations, but yeah, that's about it. And thank you for watching. Please like or subscribe or favorite. It really motivates me to make more videos. So yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good day.